Welcome back, Motorheads. This is What the F Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, first, we got us uh, what's left of an S10 for $2,000. What a Beverly Hillbilly shit is this? Did you have help from Cousin Peyote Dave? What in the hell are you trying to accomplish here? I think you must have got some insight from Fred Sanford over there, for God's sakes, because this here is just garbage. Complete junk. Whatever you set out in your mind to build, obviously went awry somewhere, because the only thing you built here was a big hunk of poopy. Just a big hunk of poop. I don't even... No, $2,000? $2,000 for what? Uh, next got a 1959 Ford Wagon for $2,000. Oh, holy inbred kissing cousins, what do we have here? A cut, shortened wagon, a 59 Ford Wagon. I just gotta know what was going through your head when you sat down and did you think this out or was you just really here -derk 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 -derk, going through your brain thinking you were going to make it any better? You know, I didn't think anybody could make a 59 Ford look any worse, but you have proven me wrong, and you have shown me that you can absolutely make a 59 Ford look worse than an egg from the factory. Oh, for God's sakes, man, go away, leave things alone. Uh, next guy, 2000 Volkswagen Baja Beetle for $25,000. Well, at least we can say he did have the common decency not to use a classic bug to build this. He used a disposable bug, so I'm kind of fine with that. Those are junk anyway. I kind of get what you were trying to go for, and I give you an A for thinking outside the box and doing something a little different. But I think somewhere along there, you you ran out of ideas, and you just kind of start throwing bad ideas like this one here. I'm sorry. Uh, next guy, 1958 that's all for $2,500. Okay, folks, I'm sorry I gotta tell you this, but it's probably not a good idea to be experimenting with the devil's lettuce while drinking natural light, all while watching reruns of Mad Max. I don't care how good of a thought it was in your brain at the time in the garage, you were gonna be making something cool, apocalyptic, and you're gonna become the character in the Mad Max movie. The casting call is over, and why in the hell is there a hole in the fender? Uh, next, we got a one-of-a-kind HHR truck for $5,000. Okay, leave it in the comments. I gotta know who else besides me has already made reservations at the Looney Bin because they don't dislike this. I, it pains me to say it. I am not hating this. I think I like that better than the HHR from the factory. Oh, dear God, I need help. Uh, next, got a 1995 Ford Thunder Chicken for $25,500. This is a joke, right? 25.5? Really? 25.5? I'm not saying that this is not a good looking car, even though it does have that goofy ass body kit on it. I don't necessarily hate your car. I think it was executed nicely, but 25.5? Dude, you could get online, marketplace, Craigslist, anywhere and buy these things for like six grand. And that's too much money. But 25.5? Your, your cheese is still up your cracker. Uh, next, 1997 Volkswagen for $4,500. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I can still see your car. Your camo is not working. It's burning my retinas right out of my skull. I don't even want to look at this, but seriously, $4,500. Why? Because you splashed a little bit of camo on it. You wrapped it. I mean, $4,500 for what? This is a 1997. The interior just don't even look comfortable. Oh, I see why it's $4,500. It's because of the stereo system. To let everybody know you're there. Oh, Jesus. Uh, next guy, 1999 Saab for $2,250. <laughs> this, this slap nut says it'll do 140 mile an hour you sir have completely went and lost your damn mind you think and you actually if this thing did 140 mile an hour and you took it to 140 mile an hour you a special kind of stupid and you should just probably go ahead and go lock yourself in a padded room because there ain't no way in hell you should have took that car 140 mile I don't see 140 mile an hour out of that car I could be wrong but Dude, really? Seriously? And dude, really? The wood bed? Oh, you, Jesus Christ, you're crazy. Uh, next up, 1955 Chevrolet for $9,000. Oh, 
What in the absolute F, man? Seriously, you just really, really cut and hurt the Tri-5 loving community deep. You just went and crossed the line. You hurt all their feelings. You hurt their heart. You possibly hurt their soul by doing what you did to this 55. Why would you do that? I mean, uh, dude, I, the car actually didn't look like it was in too bad a shape. I mean, a lot of things can be hidden, but why? Why would you do that? Uh, next guy, 1991 Chevrolet S10 Blazer for $9,500. $9,500. Uh, really? $9,500 is what you're asking for this? He slimed me. Oh, for the love of God, dude. Seriously? <sighs> no, man. Just no, dude. Uh, next guy, 1988 Chevrolet 3500 Dolly for $7,000. You know, this year was going to be a nice looking truck. It really was. It was going to be very cool. I like it. I think it's cool when you're looking at it from the side, the back. And the interior is pretty nice in this old truck here. But when you get around here to the front end, whoever did your true fire flames, you need to run immediately and demand your money back. Because I don't know what that was, but it sure the hell wasn't true fire. It looked like essence of fall. They never took any tips from Mike LaValle, that is certain. Um, next, got a 1957 Chevrolet for $27,000. I think I'd be damn sure asking for half the price where I'm only getting half the damn car. I don't understand the idiocracy behind cutting and shortening the car like this. This is just kind of stupid. I, did you ride the damn short bus? Is that why you're so partial to this kind of crap? All you folks that do this shit, did you really? Seriously, we all want to know. Did you ride the damn short bus to school? Do you still wear your helmet? Do you still eat crayons? Do you eat paste? What in the hell is wrong with you people? And then the fact that you cut it in half and then you want $27,000? Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, next, 1938 Ford for $9,500. Well, on this episode of Arts and Crafts with Crackhead Bob, fresh out of the shop, this ugly SOB. What in the absolute hell were you trying to accomplish here? Make the ugliest little rat rod pickup truck you could make on the entire planet? This thing is freaking hideous. I, I, I just, no. And I think Crackhead Bob had something to do with the pricing here because who in their damn right mind thinks that that's okay and that kind of price is okay. Uh, next, 1955 Chevrolet for $16,000. When I first read that and saw Nomad, I really thought we found the epitome of stuck on stupid that somebody cut up a Nomad wagon. But thankfully, this was not. This was a regular old wagon, but still... Definitely another passenger on a damn short bus. I mean, you've got to be riding a short bus to do shit like this. Quick cutting everything in half and making it short. You don't need to do all that. Some people like wagons. Quit being so cruel to the damn wagon. Show the wagon some love. Please quit being so mean. For God's sakes, leave the wagons alone. Uh, next, 1956 Chevrolet for $39,000. I would like to ask for a moment of silence as we honor this fallen 56 Chevy pickup truck. He had never done anything to nobody, never harmed anyone. He was always there like an old friend. But then somebody decided to resurrect it and make this shit! What the hell did you do to that 56 Chevy truck? You absolutely have bad decision making skills and very shitty taste! Why would you do that? It's a big back window truck too. You are full blown stuck on stupid. There's something wrong with you. Put your damn helmet back on. Please use rubbers. Do not procreate. Do not make any more morons like you. Why on earth? Oh, you need to be locked up for what you did to this poor truck. What the hell did this poor truck ever do to you, man? Seriously. That's just mean, dude. Just mean. And you want 40 grand? Shit. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.